traffic scenes of this tornado as it moved through the city. There were reports of downed trees and traffic signs. Windows were blown out and there is roof damage. Fortunately, only minor injuries. The tornado touched down on the MacArthur Causeway, bringing traffic to a stop. It eventually moved out over the water and disappeared. Something you would typically see in Kansas or text northeast through parts of Little Havana, downtown Miami. Then it went out into Biscayne Bay at downtowns by Centennial Park. You can see, uh, Fred, there on the ground, you can see the debris spinning around. Tremendous amount of debris spinning around. The interesting thing, too, and it's important to recall, remember, is that there's not always a visible connection of a condensation funnel from the ground all the way up to the cloud base. And so sometimes people will think, well, gee, it lifted, the, the tornado has lifted, but when in fact damage is still going on and it's still doing, like, for example, right there. And you can see the uh, debris is circulating counterclockwise, mm -hmm. which about, I guess, 99% of tornadoes rotate. About that. They have yeah. uh, documented, though, a few that rotate, as they say, in the wrong direction. Yes, but this, this was definitely counterclockwise, and you can see that how, uh, how, the, how fast the situation can change, too, as far as the, as the appearance. Uh, all of a sudden, now the uh, funnel is trying to become more visible uh, all the way down toward the ground, whereas but before, part of it was not. Quite an exciting scene there from Miami as we show you pictures of a tornado which touched down just after 2 o'clock Eastern Time this afternoon. As far as uh, the other aspects of the storm, no surprise in Florida is lightning and our lightning detection right now showing you what's going on across uh, that part of the world. And you can see the lightning strikes if we can uh, show you that. And there we, we also have strong winds and heavy rain causing flooding across other sections of Florida. For the latest, let's go to Mike Seidel in the Forecast Center. And Christina, it's been a very stormy day in the Sunshine State. We had the tornado touching down in Miami, but a lot of you have dealt with heavy rainfalls and lots of lightning. But the most vivid weather was seen today here in Miami. Tremendous uh, video here. Many people catching this on home video as well as the uh, local news stations as a tornado moved through the city of Miami. Reports of downed trees and traffic signs. Windows were blown out as it moved on through. There's been roof damage. Fortunately, so far, though, only minor injuries. A uh, very unusual sight to see a twister in a major metropolitan area, let alone Miami, Florida. And joining us to discuss the rareness of this event is Fred Ospie, our severe weather specialist. Fred joins us with 25 years experience at the National Severe Storms Forecast Center, now the Storm Prediction Center. And Fred, you've lived out in Kansas in the plains. You've seen a lot of tornadoes on video. This one must stack right up there near the top. Yeah, this looks like it came from uh, Kansas. And uh, what makes it impressive is the fact that it is here you know, on the East Coast in Florida, uh, where you normally don't have that great visibility. And uh, lots of times tornadoes are shrouded by rain and very difficult to see, but this one was, this stood out quite vividly. And for a lot of people, I'm sure a lot of people saw this one. Let's uh, go to the uh, maps and show you our tornado watch, which continues until nine. So there's still from the city of Miami this afternoon. And you can see that damage trolling around or the debris at the at the base of that tornado there. Tremendous amount of counterclockwise rotation there. And the in interesting feature too, is that you don't see that vortex going from the ground all the way up to the base of the clouds. And sometimes folks will think, well, there's there's nothing happening at the ground because we don't see the, the funnel touching. But in fact, it's invisible that counterclockwise circulation is going on all the way from the ground to the base of the clouds. And on a Fujita scale, F0 to F5, just looking at this, F0, F1? Uh, I think it's probably an F1, but, F1. Uh, you know, it's uh, early to tell. They'll, uh, the local uh, weather service folks Look will go out debris. and do some surveying. Wow. Tremendous amount of debris. And see, the separation, what seems to be a separation from the parent uh, funnel cloud to the ground, but uh, when in fact it's actually just not visible, there is circulation all the way to the ground. Just goes to show you that you don't have to be in the plains in Tornado Alley to no. Uh, no, uh, see a tornado. A lot of people, impressive. it occurred early this afternoon, a lot of people in Miami uh, pulled over to the side of the roadways and noticed the funnel and the tornado uh, touching nearby Centennial Park. Then the tornado apparently jumped the Port of Miami Bridge and the new MacArthur Causeway Bridge before smashing some buildings on Biscayne Island. It finally dissipated over the bay before reaching Miami Beach. And we're hearing now that the tornado was reported and broadcasted live on some of the local TV stations in South Florida. Dramatic video there with the debris spinning around on the ground. And we want to show you some of the after effects here in Miami. The tornado did rip up trees, blow down some traffic signs, and knock out windows of several downtown buildings. Windows were blown out of many cars. Some cars had been tossed about like toys. Local rescue units responded to several minor injury calls so far. No serious injuries or deaths have been reported, but some unusual video shot today in the city of Miami, Florida, as a tornado moved through during the early afternoon. And joining me here at the update desk is our severe enemy, the city of Miami, and then up towards Collins Avenue, then going up towards uh, Hollywood. 
and Dania, uh, you're going to be seeing some rain over the next few hours as that rain is pulling through Broward County, across the Everglades and into uh, I-95, and then across US-1, of course, over towards A-1A, Fred. And look at the rains over in southwest Florida. It's Indeed. training, too. At those, yeah, we're seeing quite a bit of training of that. That is one cell after another, which can produce uh, flash flooding. And also notice how uh, down in the Keys, there's more activity down there, moving up toward, uh, towards Aid County and the rest of the Keys. How typical is it to see twisters with a subtropical jet stream in this kind of uh, weather setup? Well, this is what you'd normally expect to see in uh, March or April and not uh, this time of the year. But uh, we've got a good strong upper trough in, in the Gulf of Mexico that's moving eastward. And so that has helped uh, set up the uh, scene in the, in the high humidity, the very high dew points over the southern part of Florida, and then some good rotation.